and offerings. And I wanted to go into um that word offerings, man, because um when you go into uh an offering, it's to uh present something before the most high. And I, I went into that definition and it goes into it says a contribution. It says a present offered up especially in sacrifice or as tribute. So we're putting our you putting your life on a line for the contribution of furthering the truth and furthering the um the uh the continuation of our nation, man. Mm -hmm. And in that, that's a that's a very important thing and a very precious thing to do in the sight of the Most High, man. Yeah, even if uh, nobody listens to you. Come. Scripture speak about in jo uh, John the Baptist being the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Come. Speak about in Ezekiel, prophesying unto the wind. So it's not even about, say, for instance, oh, like these guys talking about, what's the point of preaching on the highways and byways in the wintertime? Ain't nobody out there listening. We pushing out the vibration of your how about shimmy out and on those streets, man. Come. Whether they hear or forbear. That's what the Lord told Ezekiel. God. Ezekiel wasn't like, man, but they hard-headed, Lord. They ain't doing that shit. Scripture speak about how you got to be an adamant heart as flint. Mm -hmm. Make your, hard hit, your head hard against their forehead. They adamant-minded. You be adamant about your, the, the, the doctrine that you pushing, man. God. And don't leave your post. Because certain men, they just get, they get tired, man. God. They don't want to go through the, through the straight gate. They don't want to go through the perdition of difficulty. They don't want to go through the hardships. They don't want to go to the hell. They just want the Lord to just drop the kingdom on, on top of America. Or uh, 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 more so, the kingdom actually starting right now in America with everybody living. I got something. Um, I got it's not going to be that, man. It's going to be a lot of uh, hell that's going to come to this place. So you have to declare the hell. You have to make clear the prophecy. Let the, uh, uh, the, the nation know how bad and how hectic it's going to be and show them how they could be delivered. God. And that's the point. Even though it's going to be all kind of chaos and all kind of uh, pandemonium that's going to hit these streets and, and, and basically uh, course throughout all the world, there's, there's a way to escape. That's the, that's the, main, that's the main voice of the, the message is the way to escape. And how do you escape? By Yahweh, by Shemi, I was shy and, and leaning onto that power. I got a precept for, <clears throat> and that, this is going into what the brother's saying. You coming in some other way. You know, and I had made the, uh, that's the reason I read the uh, precept that I read in Malachi. You stealing from the Most High. And this, this uh, it goes into it in John chapter 10, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but cometh up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Mm -hmm. So you're you're a thief and a robber to the Most High. Why? Because you didn't you didn't you didn't present that offering. You didn't present that contribution or that sacrifice unto Him. Here it is. He actually he told us um to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. That's why He called you to be a watchman. Hey, your you, life is on the line. You got it. You slipped into marriage like an old nigga, man. Come. You know here it is. Everybody's you know when you come through a marriage, everybody got a specific suit. First off, they uh have uh, tailored seats seats where they're uh they're reserved reserved seats. So to speak, reserved tables, and you old nigga jumping in through the window, okay. putting somebody else's outfit on. Here, they, oh, you got a whole nother outfit on. You know, the the theme of the wedding might be, you know, all white. This Jake got fucking uh, a, a turquoise, a turquoise <laughs> outfit on. What well, goddamn Jays, man? Good. Like, what the hell is this guy wearing? What are they gonna do? They gonna they gonna get your ass the hell out of? Cause that alone will ruin the whole marriage. Mm-hmm. You know, like it throws the whole, it throws the whole setting, the whole feng shui of the, uh, the, 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 the spirit, the energy, the, the, the setting that in which they were trying to, um, to capture or whatever. You threw it off with your turquoise, man. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because you came in some other way. Came in you some other way. You put on your, the best. You put on the best thing you could find, but really, it's not in accordance, man. Mm -hmm. And you see that with Jake all the time, man. It is. It's an all white part of it. Jake could come in in a white tee and some white <laughs> and some white dickies, man. It's still all white. Oh no, man, it's 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 a formal event, man. Man, you gotta know the dress code, man. Kind, you gotta know the dress code, man. The Lord spoke about the the, the garments that we're supposed to be wearing. It's a certain dress code, you know. Right. And that's that's what's gonna get a lot of Jake in trouble. Not listening to the voice, like we said. Not listening to the the, the format. Not following the blueprint and trying to build their own blueprint. Superimposing another blueprint on top of the blueprint that's already uh, laid out, man. Kind. And that's what the Lord hates. He said the same as a thief and a robber. Mm -hmm. Basically a nigga in so many words. Kind. Scripture speak about a niggard in uh, the book of Sirach. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, continue. Um, 
verse 2. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter, the porter openeth, and the sheep heareth his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and and lend, leadeth them out. Mm. So he calleth his sheep by name, meaning he knows exactly them that are his. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you can't slip through this thing, man. He he had scripture speak about in uh, Ezekiel how everybody's gonna have to go through that rod. Mm -hmm. Meaning everybody's gonna have to be tried. Everybody's gonna have to be measured up to the stature of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah gonna be like, yep, that's me. He belongs to me. He belongs to me. Wait, who? Nah, get the yeah, hell up out of here. You know, you, you you ain't this. You ain't fit for this party, man. Okay. You know what the scripture say? I never knew you. You that work iniquity. Okay. Cause Jake want to party here, and got them jumping the uh, kingdom of heaven like he VIP, man. It don't work like that. You can only follow one path. You know. Okay. Either either the way of righteousness, the way of life. Which is gonna uh, in turn bring mourning and sadness in this time in this life, or the way of paradise, and on this side and, and the the, more, the way of uh, uh, living it up on this side, and in the kingdom of heaven you're gonna you know basically uh, you're not gonna make it on the first go round. Okay. I got a scripture. Uh, you had something. No, you got. Well, oh, I'll get this and you could close it with yeah, that. We'll then. Okay, Ezekiel three and eighteen. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. Nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you didn't give him warning. The main objective of this job is to give them warning. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and push out the warning. Okay. You know, just to, um, so if I could say. Hey, it, it's it's it, it it ain't just about having on the uniform, man. Mm -hmm. Cause you got a lot of jakes that are put going to the military, got on the uniform, but you ain't doing your job, man. And that's a lot of you jakes that get this truth or whatever, and you sit behind a comment board, you sit shallow on, you you may go out to camp once or twice or whatever, you may go feed the homeless or whatever. Hey, that's bullshit. At the end of the day, you got on the uniform, you got the name. So what? Did you do your job? Mm -hmm. Did you got it out? Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, mm -hmm. but thou hast delivered thy soul. Mm -hmm. Again, when a righteous man doth turn, from it, doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he has warned, also thou hast delivered thy soul. And that's the importance, mm -hmm. giving that message. You know, a lot of times, even like when you drive and you'll see these different signs, uh, these different uh, do not enter, that saves a lot of lives, man. Mm -hmm. A stop, go. You got to think if there wasn't any red lights or green lights or yellow lights. And these different uh, uh, stoplights, all these different um, signs and signals on the road, how many uh, fatalities it'll be. It'll be a lot more, man. God, God. And we represent that, that, uh, those signs, those signets, those uh, uh, individuals that push the alarm, push the warnings, tell our people where to go, directing the sheep, uh, shepherds. You know, because at the end of the day, we're saving lives through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. And if we didn't, uh, take this office seriously, then all the blood of the nation will be on our back. God. So this is a uh, this is the thing where there is no choice. You have to do the job that's assigned to you, and you got it. All right, this is um, Matthew chapter seven verse twenty two, and I'm gonna end off on this because I made the um, I made the statement. Just because you got the uniform on, that doesn't mean that you you did your job, that you did the things necessary required for you to get a medal, man. For you to get a medal in the military, you actually got to you got to put in some work, man. Mm -hmm. Just because you got a uniform on, that don't mean shit, man. Just so, and just because I'm next to this brother right now, don't guarantee me no spot on the chariot, man. Because we doing this lesson right now, it doesn't guarantee me a spot on the chariot. It's about what I do day in and day out when this brother is not around. Mm -hmm. That's the this is the key. This is Matthew chapter seven verse. I'm gonna start at twenty one. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, 
And what is the will of the Father? For you to be a watchman and for you to actually do the things he called for you to do, depending, um, depending on the office in which you, um, you hold, man. From the top to the least, man. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. So you're going to have Jake's in that day's Lord. Hey, man, every time I got a uh, chance, I, I, I logged into uh, Xbox Live. I, lo I logged in on PlayStation. And, you know, I got a Hebrew name. I, I told people that I'm an Israelite. I told them they were Israelites. Um, I, I, I fed the homeless. I, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I spreaded your word at work on the plantation. And this is what Jay gonna say. So is that not is that not enough, Lord? No, because he told you to go to the highways and byways, man, to lift up thy voice as a trumpet in a marketplace, come in the chief place of concourse, man. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty three, and then will I profess? I was on a con. You was on a comment board. You shall have warmed the apostles and the elders. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, 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 I like the video of that brother. I encouraged him. Hey, that ain't enough. This is verse 23 and we'll end here. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you didn't do what I asked you to do, man. So what you got on the uniform, nigga? And that's what you are, niggards, man. So what you got on the uniform? Did you do... Were, were you actually a soldier, man? Because you got, you got cooks that put on uniforms, man, in the military. Hey, you, ain't, you ain't getting shot at. Yeah. You, ain't, you ain't doing, you are not, you're not defending anything. You ain't doing, you, 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 ain't, you ain't really doing what the mili uh, 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 a military man is supposed to do. A cook is a cook. You can get a civilian to cook, man. Uh, uh, if you're in the military, you're supposed to be ready to go to war. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't hear the mighty man of King David. Uh, you don't you don't hear the great acts of them. Oh uh, yeah, he you know he cooked King David a, a, a mean um a turk lamb. chicken, yeah, lamb a mean lamb. lamb. Hey, you don't hear that? No, he he actually King David wanted some water, and they went through they went through a uh, 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 enemy's camp to yeah. go get it. Yeah, the thick of things. They yeah, in the thick they were in the thick of things. So if you ain't in the thick of things, man, you ain't doing what the Lord calls you to do, man. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the battlefield, being a vanguard, man. Being that first line of defense, like the white blood cells. That's know? a champion of your Alba Shemel Shah. That's the, that's the definition of a soldier, is to be a champion for the cause of Hamashiach, man. Mm hmm. Yeah, we, we good. But, Some more on that? Nah, that was it on that. We okay. could end off on that. Yeah, so, you know, with that, you know, hopefully, brothers are edified. We're going to end it by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom Makim. Shalom.